All right, you guys, welcome back to another deck profile. Today we are going to be looking over Empoleon Update. Um, the next, these next couple lists are going to be updates rather than new things, but they are uh, drastically different enough to quantify a whole new video. They just won't be as long, so I apologize for that. But uh, kind of crazy, right? Two videos in two days. That is bananas. Uh, we're we're back at it. We're gonna there's probably gonna be a little bit of videos here in the next coming weeks, so that's great. Um, just to refresh your memory, here's the old Empoleon list. Then you see over here on the left. And the old Empoleon list had a lot to deal with uh, using Emperor Aura over and over again, then switching out from your active and finishing it off with Attack Command or uh, Empoleon Breaks Attack, that sort of thing. It had stuff like Delinquent, had stuff like Judge. I think there was even a there's no red card in there, but basically stuff to like really control your opponent's hand and where they attach to and whatnot while you're just smacking them in the face with attack command. Uh, there was a Hyper Devo Spray and a Devo Spray. Uh, this was before even Porygon Z came out. Both of those were in there. Um, what else was kind of weird in there? I think that was pretty much about it. Like, yeah, the Delinquent was like the big one because like, you could Delinquent someone and then Supreme Command uh, the, the remaining cards in their hand away so they just didn't have any cards in their hand. They were only on top deck mode. Um, so that was the old, old list. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the new list, which, if you look over here, there isn't really much groundbreaking stuff, but if you didn't know about the Empoleon from Ultra Prism, it fits the bill really, really well in what you're trying to do. Uh, this deck is 20 damage for each bench Pokemon, both yours and your opponent, for two energies. It's pretty much, very, I mean, it's very similar to this attack command, which is 10 damage times the number of Pokemon in play. Um, obviously, uh, this attack is going to get up to more damage, considering full benches do 200 as opposed to 120 with that one. Uh, but the old DEX one does have Diving Draw to give you that consistency built into the engine. So we're going to kind of build it around that. It no longer has the disruption. It is purely just a an attacking for a big amount of damage over and over again type of deck. Um, it does get a lot less creative, <coughs> and I kind of apologize for that. It's not as exciting. Um, but it does make it a lot better. It's now like a Tier 1, Tier 2 level of deck. Um, instead of where it was at like a tier three fringe sort of thing, so it it really boosts up this deck tremendously. Um, the one good thing about this one as well is it's 160 HP, non EX, so that's even more bananas. The two energy attachment cost is kind of weird. You do play stuff like double rainbow energy to 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 get to satisfy that attachment. That 10 damage really isn't going to matter that much, especially with damage modifiers. And then you have Aqua Patch as well to kind of charge it up. And then you even have EXP share that you can attach to your print flips on the bench. Um, what else can be said about this? Uh, oh yeah, it's not it's not necessarily meaning that this is the way to build Empoleon. You can still build it this old way here where you're playing Emperor Aura and Devolu Dev Devolution stuff. Um, but I think what if you did that, you'd have to kind of adjust... Um, one or two other things to fit the new Empoleon in, just because I think this new Empoleon is better than this Empoleon because it's 20 more HP and non EX. I mean, that just like straight makes sense there, I think. Um, I mean, I could be way wrong on that, but who knows? Um, so, yeah, we're not going to look at that anymore. These are the cards from Ultra Prism that are in the list because Lackey doesn't have Ultra Prism on it because, you know, we're jumping the gun on Ultra Prism really early because we're really excited about the set. So, we have Ultra Prism. We also have the new Piplup here. It's 70 HP, one retreat, which is the best combination of those two. Um, there's no Piplups with free retreat, so you go with 60 with one or 70 with one, and this is the only one with 70. And then we're also playing Cynthia. Um, I think Cynthia is going to be going in every single deck. Um, it kind of takes the place of Copycat in most decks. So um, it just gives you a little bit extra consistency in your shuffle draw department. Um, we already play Pont on everything, so Cynthia yeah, just kind of makes sense to put in everything. Uh, but going back to the list here, we are playing a Pyramid 4, 3, 2, 1 line. It's four Piplups, three Prinplups, two Empoleons, one Empoleon Break. The Break is kind of weird in there because you're like, oh, Emperor Command probably won't do as much damage as, uh, what was this one called? As much damage as Total Command. They're all command. That's cool. Um, uh, Emperor's Command probably won't be doing as much damage. But what it does is it gives you A, 10 extra HP on your regular or 30 extra HP on the DEX one. Uh, or it also protects you against uh, Porygon Z plays because Porygon Z will de-evolve the break instead of the Empoleon. So they'd have to initialize twice to get down to your lower HP print plumps. So that's kind of one of the things we put in there for that. 
Uh, Pyramid Line also gives you access to putting EXP, EXP share on your Primplups so that if you're one of the, like the employee on that you're attacking with, the total command one gets knocked out, you can EXP share down to it and attach, uh, leaving less room that you need for Aqua Patch. So helps your lines out there. Um, and the other thing it also gives you is four Piplups to work with so that you can have more benched Pokemon because there really aren't that many Pokemon in here besides your support Pokemon. Your bench is going to be mostly Piplups and support Pokemon. And that actually, legitimately, that's it. There is really no other Pokemon. So you want to try to fill up your bench as much as possible. A max amount of Piplups help there. So everything else is pretty standard. You know, you have your Porygon line, your Claydol line. Uh, you have a Mime in here to protect against spread stuff. Uh, just because you have an extra, you know, you have extra room in this deck because there's not very many, many Pokemon. You do play Pokemon Center, Pokemon Center to kind of help with that. But Mr. Mime gives you the, the spread protection and it gives you that extra 10 or 20 damage for your command attacks. So, uh, looking at uh, supporters, all standard stuff, nothing too funky. Uh, I think the only thing to point out is the lack of copycat because we are uh, taking that out for Cynthia in most decks. And then we also are playing Mallow and Oracle. That's because we can get the benefit of Diving Draw. So if you needed to play one and then download the other, you could Cosmic Power into one and Diving Draw into the other, or Bill into one, or you know that sort of thing. We could play two for that extra consistency. I've started to like mentally like that in most decks anyways, playing Mallow and Oracle, just to get you those two cards you absolutely need, but uh, I've been wrong before. so. And then looking at the uh, items here, uh, Battle Compressor is just kind of a way to uh, get a water into your discard pile so you can Aqua Patch it. It's a way to get the egg into your discard pile so that you can Diving Draw it over and over again. Um, so that's why we play that. I think the only other weird stuff is the, we do have a Pokemon Flute and a Target Whistle, and that's to increase damage on your opponent's side of the field. These are basically an extra 10 damage, extra 20 damage cards. Uh, you could consider playing Erica's Perfume and Pokepuff if you were looking to uh, increase that even more. Uh, cards I think I'd take out for it, maybe Rough Seas, because we're also playing Pokemon Center. That might be what it is, because we're playing Mime, Rough Seas, and Center to, spread it, to protect against spread, so you could drop that for a Pokepuff. Um, and then maybe even... Honestly, maybe even Brooklet Hill. I like Brooklet Hill for consistency, though. So maybe Battle Compressor. Who knows? There's there's another card you could drop. That this list is very very fluid. Um, pun intended. Fluid water. Eh. Uh, um, it's it's very open up to to making those kind of changes. So if you, I only play these because I think those are just like better guaranteed damage. Your opponent's gonna have a full bench most of the time, anyways, um, and they're gonna make mistakes by benching stuff. I don't know. You might want to play Pokey Puff and Erica's. Who knows. Oh, but outside of that, everything else is very standard. We are playing Switch. You normally don't see Switch. We just you just see like one escape rope, and we call it good. But we're playing the Switch so that if you need to Aqua Patch to your active, you have Switch. So, um, but yeah, I think that's about it. If you have any questions on the update, please let us know. If not, hope you guys have a great rest of your day.